I may check with a few thoughts on the Oregon shooting. Another mass shooting on school grounds, the 45th shooting on school grounds in the U.S. in 2015 alone. The president was upset, and you can certainly understand why, but again, without knowing the particulars, he uh, kind of denounced the gun violence, saying we're getting used to it, and that's horrible. We shouldn't be getting used to it, but we have two schools of thought in the People Call My Talk radio show. On the left, too many guns. The states that have the most guns have the most gun violence. We should start a buyback program. We should stop manufacturing these high-powered weapons and curb the ammunition, all that kind of stuff. On the right, nothing you can do. We don't enforce the gun laws we have in the books already. If we started to crack down on guns, they would use other weapons like knives or cars. Who knows? But I hear this stuff over and over again. My point is simply this. If you have a gun, I'm not worried. You could have 10 guns. It wouldn't worry me because you're insane. You're not angry. You're not criminal. But certain people should not have guns. Let's take the Virginia case where the two TV people were shot in cold blood during a live shot. That individual had been fired from that station. It was violent the day he was fired. They had to call the police to escort him out. He'd been violent and threatening with people on the job during reports. Somebody like that should not have a gun. Now, he may not be convicted of a crime, but he's violent and unstable. Police are called. When do we start the red flags? Uh, you check the social media history. Check their uh, police call history. The point of it is, a guy like that should be on probation and a guy like that should not have a gun. I've worked with people like that. They shouldn't have guns. I have people in my family that shouldn't have guns. How do we screen them? If they engage law enforcement in a criminal complaint and they're on probation, they should go before a judge and make their appeal. A judge should decide whether they should have a gun legally. Now again, if they buy a gun illegally on the black market, we can't stop that, but we can crack down on the person who sells them the gun. It's like a car. You have eight OWIs, you buy a car from somebody with cash. He doesn't care or she doesn't care. You know, you should have to go to the DMV and check it out. The, the person who sells the car should know that you have eight OWIs. You shouldn't be able to sell a car to a person like that. Same with guns. We gotta do a check on who has the guns. It's not just the number of guns, it's who has the guns. We've gotta crack, whether it's mental health and somebody's violent, that information needs to be uh, passed on to authorities, no confidentiality, but come on, people. Certain people shouldn't have them, and they're getting them, and they're doing these shootings. Let's at least agree on that. My two minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can redo your kitchen, your bathroom, your bedroom, your basement, make your home feel just like home. We can argue about this and other topics tomorrow morning on the radio at 8 o'clock on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hank Show.